Hey everybody, hope everybody is doing great today, having a great day so far. Happy Halloween to you. Um, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Gabe and I, this is Gabe Loves Makeup. So glad to have you, you know, come on a wine, a couple pieces of candy, you know, a cup of coffee, glass of tea, water, whatever you have, you know, maybe a chip or two or a little snack. And we're gonna sit here and we're gonna talk about some favorites today. But before I get started, I just wanna say one thing though. Um, I just wanna thank my family of subscribers. I really do appreciate you guys. You guys know that I love you so much. And I just feel that I just need to tell you that on a regular basis, just to let you guys know that I'm not just bullshitting you. I'm actually um, I'm actually meaning what I say. And um, I just want you guys to know that you guys mean everything to me. And I'm so glad that, that I have you as part of my little family. And, um, and if you are new and you wanna join, I would, we would love to have you, but, um, you know, we're just going to leave that up to you and kind of let you make that decision. Um, so anyway, with that said, um, let's get into some favorites. Okay, shall we? Okay, guys, because it is Halloween week, or Halloween weekend, actually, coming up, um, you know, maybe when this video is going up, it may be closer to Halloween, um, you know, I just thought I would throw out, um, my roommate got me a, um, got me a Jason shirt, she was up in the mountains with her boyfriend, and they actually ran across some, um, horror shirts, you guys, I know, I'm a huge horror, horror fan, and I absolutely love it, I even have on my Pamela Voorhees sweater, which is my mother's old sweater, I love the sweater, but it is getting a little hot so I think I'll take it off okay so you can see the shirt now a little bit more but this shirt is just so cool I just think it's really really cool and thanks to my roommate Suzanne I love you I think it's so awesome and it's a really really cool shirt so I'm really liking it. it's kind of tie dye it's kind of cool and with a Jason on it and speaking of Jason one of my favorite things is my Friday the 13th lunchbox I thought that I'd throw that in there if you guys have not if you're new to my channel um I do have a section down in my playlist that I used to do this thing called Lunchbox Retro Fridays, Makeup Fridays, and I used to put makeup in the box with the lunch, and I would do a different lunch boxes to collect a lot of different lunch boxes that I have. So this is one of the lunch boxes that I do have. Another one of my favorites is also um, is the my Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I really love that one too. I really got it's just a cool thing. It's just the poster of the movie and stuff. I just think it's really really cool. I'm um, gonna just list it below if I can do that. Um, if you guys can check it out and see, it's a lot of fun. It's more fun than anything. And I did those like really early on in my channel or whatever, but it was a lot of fun to do. Um, I've got, still got a few that I never got through, but I mean, you know, but, um, it is fun to kind of watch if you guys want to watch me be silly and have a good time with me, so to speak. Um, the first thing that I wanted to talk about was, um, I did get, I did receive some gratis from Lancome. Um, I started freelancing with them again and I'm just so glad to be back with them. I just love the, the company and it's great. And you guys will see me throw in some Lancome things because they're just some of my Lancome favorites that I just love, that I love. This is one of those products. I couldn't afford it for a while. I was kind of, I was kind of just kind of taking a break from it, but I really, really miss my Genifique, my advanced Genifique. I love it. It just makes your skin look so even and so clear and so pretty and it just gives you such a beautiful glow and I really, really love it. It's just a great product. And then also the um, Lancome Absolute Cream in Rich. It's just such a beautiful, rich cream if you can see I don't know if you guys can see it or not but it's really see down in there it looks how wet it looks but it goes it starts off really thick but then it goes into a more of a thinner layer and you can use it as a day cream and a night cream and it's also refillable so you can refill it you don't have to each time you don't have to buy it but it has the absolute um uh, rose cells in it that actually it moisturizes the skin, it nourishes the skin, it hydrates, it brightens, um, it plumps the skin. It just makes your skin look so beautiful. And with Genifique underneath it, it's such, it's so, so awesome. And you just put your sunscreen over top of it and then your makeup and it makes your makeup look great. They also have it in a soft cream formula which is a little bit more lighter weight so if you're more normal combination that one would be better for you but if you're dry like me the rich cream is great and you can use it anytime uh you know morning or night regardless of when you want to use it or you can use it both regardless of how you feel but it is a great product um, especially along with the genifique it's like a, this is just you know a full dropper takes you a long way that whole dropper is for your whole face and neck and it's just really really awesome um another one that i've been really really reaching for is my charlotte tilbury magic cream i just love this cream you got this is like my probably my fifth one 
that I've been through. I love this cream. It's such a great under makeup cream and it's also really great. I still put it like like the Absolute and I may do something like this over top of it because I'm just so dry. My skin absorbs it so much and then with a mask and everything. This is just a really, really great cream. Um, it just feels really, really good on the skin. It's very, very soothing. Even people with like more normal to oily skin can get by with it. Um, it's just a really beautiful cream and I really, really like it a lot. Um, so, I mean, you know, so it's just one of these things I've been reaching for a lot lately. I've been using it underneath, um, you know, makeup or underneath a mask or, you know, even during the day. I've just been reaching for this one quite a bit. Between this one and this one, these are the two that I've been using for the last two months. I kind of been giving some of the other ones a little bit of a break because I do have, you know, not a lot of moisturizers, but I do have some and some I've kind of already went through. Um, but, you know, but this one is just one that I just absolutely love and I love the night cream too. Um, this is just, it's just a, just a favorite of mine. Um, next up is the Dream Skin by Christian Dior. Is the Karen Perfect Dream Skin. I just love it. It's just such a beautiful base. If you put it up underneath, um, foundation, it just makes your skin look so beautiful and even. And it just gives this beautiful radiance, but it doesn't feel greasy. So if you're a little bit, even if you're oily and you don't like, you want the radiance, but you don't want the oil, it's just a really beautiful product. It kind of dries down to more of a natural finish so you don't feel sticky or oily or greasy or anything with it. It's a little bit on the pricey side, you know, as a matter of fact, any of these are, you know, this is, I think it's a hundred and then, you know, the long comb, I think is like two. 25 or something like that for the cream and then you know then the serum is this 1.7 i think it's around 90 or something i'll leave all the prices down below but this one is around close to 85 90 dollars but it is a really really good product okay now that we've got um skincare out of the way let's get into some makeup now so i have a little bit of foundation i have a little bit of eyeshadow i have a little bit of blush and i have a little bit of lipstick so we've got a little bit of everything so um let's just since we're kind of going in order we'll just kind of go with complexion first so the one I've really been reaching for a lot, again, is the Lancome Tonadol. It's the stick foundation. I've just really been reaching for this a lot, guys, because I've just been wearing my mask under, you know, to work. Um, but between this one and one other one, I've been using pretty much almost on a daily basis. You just do this and you blend it with your fingers and you're done. And I've been wearing it with a mask anyway and just kind of going to work with a mask on anyway. I just really do a lot. Um, but this just helped to even up my skin. It's just really quick. It's got the little brush on the end if you want to use it. Um, I just really, I don't know why, I've just kind of been reaching for the stick idea. It's just been easy. Easy. It's just been quick. It's been a lot easier than using like a liquid or anything like that. So I've just really been reaching for it. It's not just because I've been helping out long comb some. It's just the fact that I've just, I've had it and I've just been like just reaching for it. I don't know why. And it's just been easy. Um, and I've also been using the concealer too. I like it too. But um, this, I've been reaching for more. And sometimes I don't even use a concealer. I just use this and I call it a day and that's it. So I mean, it was just a really quick, easy something to go with. And I've just really been enjoying it a lot. Um, and then um, next up, I have to throw this out there, is the Lisa Eldridge. It's the Seamless Skin. I've been able to squeeze some more out of the samples a little bit more, um, you know, but, and I still have a little bit more left, so I'm still squeezing it out. She hasn't launched this yet, but this foundation, guys, if you want to see my Lisa Eldridge video, I'll try to put it up here if I can, but it is just super, super awesome. It's such a beautiful, beautiful product. I can't wait for this foundation to come out, so I'm excited about that. Um, and then um, I'm going to talk about two more more foundation is the glowish this has also been something else I've been kind of reaching for a little bit. I'm kind of still on the fence with this one. I love the powder. So the powder is the other one that I've been using along with the stick more um, because this has just been staying on really well. It's super, super easy. Again, I'll throw, um, if I could try to remember, I'll try to throw my video up on the thing so you guys can see it. Um, but it is just a great, it's a great powder. It just does a really, really good job. I also have this in a lighter shade as well. The tint, um, I have to say, it's good. I like it. it. The only thing is, is like, you know, because I'm dry. So, and this is supposed to be a glowy foundation, right? Um, to me, it feels like almost like a little matte on me. Like sometimes it looks a little too natural, a little too, um, I have to really do it up underneath. And then with the mask and everything, it just kind of absorbs into my skin. And you really just, it doesn't look as smooth as the powder does, believe it or not. Um, so the tin is not bad. Um, I still enjoy the powder more. Um, if you guys have not figured out by now, but Huda is my favorite brand. Um, 
I don't know if my, my idea is going to change by the end of the year, but right now Huda is my favorite. I just absolutely love this brand. She can do no wrong. I've absolutely loved almost every product that I've ever bought by her. There's maybe been like one or two or three things that maybe I haven't really enjoyed, but for the most part, I've really enjoyed everything in her line. Um, but this is, um, this is okay. Um, it's not my top favorite of hers, but I mean, but I do like it. If I had to choose between this and the false filter foundation, I prefer it, even though it's, a Actually, it's supposed to be a little bit more of a matte, even as a luminous matte. Um, I just feel like it's still got more glow than this does in a way on my skin. I don't know if that's really, really weird, but that's just kind of how I've been. That's just kind of how I see it as. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about a little bit was I just want to give you guys an update on the Lawless Foundation. It's Concealed the Deal Foundation. Um, it's a really interesting foundation. Um, I have this in the shade, um, I think it's Pablo, Pablo, Paulo or something, St. Paulo, Paulo Santo. And it's too light for me. It's a little bit too light. Um, I still have to mix it with something else, even though my skin's getting a little bit lighter now that it's getting more, um, closer to winter. Um, and I've been using a lot of stuff, different stuff on my stuff, a lot of retinols and colic and stuff at night. This foundation is more for oily skin. Um, I have been mixing it and I've been playing with it. I've been adding oil to it and, you know, maybe a moisturizer and shearing it out a little bit more. And I do like it more sheer. And it does stay on pretty good. Um, and, you know, it's not bad up underneath a mask or whatever. It's been doing pretty good. So, I've been kind of playing with this a little bit more, trying to get a little bit more. You have to shake it really good. It's got the ball in it. I mean, it gives a medium to a full coverage out of this, depending on what you like. But now, if you're oily or if you're combination and you want a really good, clean foundation, and you, and you like a medium to almost a really good full coverage, you would love this. It's such a great product for that. Um, you know, it does make your skin look smooth. Um, it kind of reminds me of a little bit of the Lisa Eldridge on the smoothness and how it makes it look. But um, other than that, though, I'm not really, I'm still on the fence about this one, guys. I'm not really sure about it. But if you've got dry skin, I definitely would pass on this one. I wouldn't pick it up. Um, I just have not, it's just, you got to work with it so, so much in order to get what you want out of it. So I definitely would kind of pass on it um, if you're dry. But if you're normal, more normal on the combo side and oily, you would love this. This would be a great foundation for you. But I just had to throw that out there. Just want to give you guys share a little bit of something because I, I haven't really updated you guys with this because I did this in September. And then, you know, then the month, the month of September, I would, I, you know, I started, you know, doing different jobs and I've been all over the place and I hadn't had really a lot of time to do it, um, to talk about it. But I just want to give you guys an update on this one. Um, so some more, um, Huda Beauty we can just talk about while we're, you know, kind of in it. Now we talked about the powder. I wanted to just bring up again the bronzer and the blush. The, the bronzer is really absolutely beautiful. It's just such a beautiful bronzer. I have it on now. It's such a beautiful color. It's just really awesome. I have this in the shade, um, Deep Tan. Um, and it's just, it just blends into the skin so effortlessly. It's just absolutely stunning. I think everybody that's tried this bronzer has really fell in love with it and actually have been reaching for it quite a bit. I didn't know when I bought it that, you know, because I've got the Gucci bronzer. I have the Charlotte Tilbury. I have a few other bronzers that I really like too, but I've really been reaching for this one quite a bit. I've just really fallen in love with it. And it's like almost like a daily bronzer now for me. If I use a bronzer, I just really love this. And then also this blush here, the glowish, I got it in the shade, um, uh, uh, the Cheeky Vegan Blush, and I got it in Berry Juicy, and guys, this, this is so, so, so pretty. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful, rich in color, and I've been using it for quite some time, for about two weeks now. I've had the product. I just did the review, but I've been using it for quite some time, and I really, really like it. I can't wait for her to come out with more shade than this. This is a really, really good blush, especially this time of year. If you like that really fleshy, wintry, blistery, you know, kind of frozen cheek kind of look, you would really, really love this color. And they have it in coral. There's two, like a peachy and a coral. And then there's like, and then there's a more of a cherry one that's a little bit more for a deeper skin tone. But there's definitely different, some really good colors in these. And it's not too expensive. The packaging is a little small, um, but it's a really, it gives a good impact off of it. It's a, of what you get, you get a good impact out of it. So it's not, it's a really good blush. One other thing I want to mention is the 
if we're talking about blushes, is the RM, RCMA palette. It's a, it's like a cheek and lip palette. You can use this on your lips or you can use it on your cheeks. It's like a cream blush. They each, they each have like, they're like a creamy kind of a texture, but they've got like a lot of pigment to them. They're really, really pretty. I'm just going to kind of give you guys a little bit just to see, but see how pretty they are. They're very, they're almost lipsticky like, but they do have a little bit more of a creamy feel. If you don't if you like a cream but you don't like a um you like it to be more powdery instead of like really more dewy and creamy you wouldn't like this but now as a lipstick it works really great but you're supposed to be able to use this for many different things other than just blush or just lipstick so it's just a really really cool palette i have it on now i have this shade on here right now this one right i mix this one and this one together on my cheeks so I have that on now with a little bit of the Pat McGrath, um, the the orange, uh, the orange one, the electric bloom. I think was the one, the really orangey one. I have a little bit of that over top of it, um, and it just looks really, really stunning on the skin. It's really, really pretty. And um, one more thing from RCMA I wanted to talk about too. This kind of surprised me because I bought this in a Beautylish. Um, not a haul, but I did buy some Beautylish products and I'd never tried the RCMA and everybody had talked about it. So I bought this and I picked up one other thing and it was this right here. It was the makeup. It's like a makeup palette. I saw Tati use this a lot. Um, and I just wondered, she always talks about it all the time and I just thought, well, let me, let me try it and see what I think of it. Um, but it's a, but it's like a bit of a foundation concealer, contour, you know, you can blend your own colors in it to make your own foundation color and what have you in it or whatever. And I've just been recently playing with it a little bit more. And you have to, like, I've been using the, um, this shade here. Let's see, this shade here, this shade here, this shade here. And I take a little bit of red sometimes and I mix it together. And that's what, but, and I drop, mix it with a drop of oil and I thin it out. And then I just apply it with a blush, a brush. And, um, this is what I, that's what I have on right now is that right now and it looks so pretty it's a really pretty product straight out of the pan like if you use it out of the pan and you use it it does have a little bit more of a matte texture powdery texture because it's supposed to be a makeup artist top kit that you use for tv movies what have you um it's like a professional kind of makeup you know hd kind of makeup and it is a little bit more on the matte side but you can kind of make it your own you just have to play with it and kind of make it that way when i first tried it just straight out of the gate i didn't really like it because it was a little matte and it was a little powdery and i did it was kind of just felt like i just set in my pores but um now that i've been playing with it a little bit more i'm really starting to enjoy this i can see why tati likes it so much um, but, but these are really cool. If you guys are ever interested in wanting to see me use this and figure out if you have this and you want to see what it's like to, what I do with it, um, then, you know, please leave it down in the comments down below and let me know. And, um, you know, maybe we can play with this together sometime. So, Refer came out with a brand new set of brushes for the holiday, and I was gifted it by a fairy godmother that loved me very much, and she's very, very sweet, and I really do appreciate her so much. Um, she, um, gifted me with the brush. I'm sorry, they're dirty, but I've been using them. So I just wanted to, I just wanted to show you guys. At least you guys know that I'm using them. Um, but these are just so soft and they feel so good. But this one is the, um, number 30 brush and it's like a powder brush. And then, um, this one is like a foundation cream contour type product. This one's number 31. It's got like a slant to it. This is really good for foundation. I've really been using it for foundation. I really, really like it. And um, and this one is also the number 32 and it's also a newer brush. And it is, I've been using it as concealer and I really, really love it too. This just completes my collection pretty much. I just really, really love them. They're just really, really great brushes. Um, if you guys, they do have them on their site now. Um, they, do, they did have a holiday sale going on. So you guys can go on and check it out. I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to check it out. But they are just so, so pretty and I've really, really enjoyed using them so far. So thank you to my fairy godmother. I love you. You're just awesome and I really do appreciate it. So thanks so much. Um, I've got two pow two powders, setting powders to show you. Um, one is the RCMA. It again, is, it goes with a little bit with the foundation and the blush or the lipstick. You can definitely use this. This is like a, um, it's a translucent powder. Um, it comes in a great big container. Um, it leaves like a very, um, it's a transparent product. There's no color to it whatsoever. It absorbs into the skin and it just takes away shine. It's really, really nice. I thought it was going to be a little bit too matte for me, but I'm actually 
actually really enjoying it. Um, it's just a really, really nice powder. There's no fragrance to it or anything. By the way, there's no fragrance to any of the RCMA products. Um, but it's just really, really nice to set your face with. If you're a little bit more on the oily side, I know you would really enjoy this one. Um, it's really, really beautiful. If you're taking pictures or whatever, it blurs everything. It does make everything look really nice. I have set my face a little bit with it today. Um, it is really, really pretty. But the next product is the one that I've been really setting my face with. Um, if I've not been using the Huda, it's been this one. And this is by um, Giorgio Armani. It's called the Luminous Silk Powder. Um, since I've been working for Swan Beauty some on the side, they sell this on their website. And this is the, and it is just absolutely stunning. It's just so beautiful. It leaves your skin. There's They have it in a bunch of different colors. I think there's like maybe eight or nine of them. It's just a really beautiful um, product. And when you put it on the skin, it just makes your skin have this beautiful diffused radiance to it and it just makes your skin look so 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 pretty it just makes it just gives you this beautiful look to the skin i love the way it makes my skin look it is just really awesome and you can use this alone or you can use it with a foundation i use it to be setting everybody's foundation with especially if i want to keep it more on the dewy side and keep a really dewy beautiful look to it um it's just such a beautiful product i've really really been enjoying it so far i'm so glad that i got it it's just really Really nice. I have this in the shade seven, um, but again, um, if they carry it at Sephora, and you know they also carry it at Nordstrom's as well. But it, um, and they also carry it at Swan Beauty. But it is just a really, really beautiful product. I've really been enjoying this one. Um, so a liner, so a cake liner. I've been, I have got, I bought this Ashley Strong palette. It's by Morphe. It's the Morphe and the Ashley Strong collection alignment cake palette. Um, it's got really, really beautiful cake liners in it. I really love using cake liner. I love wetting a brush and dipping it in. And I just feel like you get a little bit more control sometimes than you do sometimes with the liquid liner. Um, it's just really, really beautiful. It does a really, really good job. Um, I do, I did get the new, um, hand dish liner, the Heroline, which is awesome also in my Huda video. Um, I'm still playing with that a little bit more to see if I'm a favorite. I'm trying to figure out which one I like better, the Huda or the Natasha Denona or the Hendish. Um, but, but this one I immediately love because it's just so different. There's a, a nice selection of colors in here. Um, they're very different. They're very unique. But these colors here at the bottom are just to die for. They're just really beautiful. They give a really beautiful, if you just touch them, you don't get much pigment out of them. If you just touch them, you have to wet them. So when you wet them, you get a lot of pigment and they're really, really nice. So I've really been enjoying this palette. It's really good. Um, and then, you know, um, I've also been loving the um, the Cinderella palette. Um, I just did a review on this one and I just love it, guys. It's just so beautiful. I just had to throw it in here. This is like it's something that I had wanted for a while. Um, I'd seen it and I was just like, oh my God, it's just so beautiful. It is just so pretty. It's got a, such a beautiful little bit of neutrals with little pops of color in it. It's got, you know, seven mattes in it and seven metallics in it. It's just a beautiful, beautiful palette um, with all your colors on the back of it. It's just beautiful packaging, even though I do love Cinderella. It is one of my favorite fairy tales, but I just have really enjoyed this palette. It's so pretty. And, you know, with that said, I was going to mention the um, the lippies that come with it. Um, these are $29 for both the set. It's just so beautiful. They're just such beautiful colors. This um the this one is dreamy. This one is the dreamy. Wow. It's magical. And they're just really, really stunning. They're stunning together. I will try to link my Cinderella video up here so you guys can see it. But it just looks so beautiful together or alone. They're just both stunning. When I saw this, this was like what really drew me in. The palette was sick, but this really drew me in. It's just really, really pretty. Um, you know, so I've really been enjoying this. It's really good. Um, and then, um, Another one more palette, and then uh, we were almost done. We I'm much more left. Um, you know, so so what I have on my eyes today, I wanted to do something a little crazy because we're kind of doing a little bit of a Halloween kind of fun thing. Um, you know, since I didn't really get to dress up for Halloween or do anything, I did wanted to do something a little fun, and I did it with the Jeffree Star Prick palette. This palette, guys, it's just like it's the pigment is just so pretty. I did set it off with a little bit, little bit of the um this color here, Rose Fire Nectar. I did do 
do that and pack it on the top of it because it's just, I just needed a pack shutter to just set it off because I just knew that one of her, you know, extra ones would do the trick. Um, but it is just so, so, so pretty. I just really love this palette, guys. It's just so pretty. It's just beautiful. All the shades in it. I've used, I used, um, this one and this one in the crease today. And then I did a little bit of this one towards the inner corner. And then I did the black in the end, right in the end of crease. And then, um, I just kind of lined my inner eye with it. Um, and then I also went back over it with a little bit of this bronzy shade. Um, you know, and then I took a little bit of this up underneath and went over top of it and blended it together. I mean, this is just a beautiful, beautiful fall palette. Um, if you guys want me to see me do more with it, you know, please let me know down below like what your thoughts are on it. I love it because it comes with a little hand class purse in it. I think it was like seven, uh, it was $52 for this. It's a really good, it's got 18 shadows in it. The majority of the shadows are pretty much matte. Um, there's not many metallics in it. There's like maybe one, um, one major metallic. The rest of them are just, are more of like a really more of a topper. And then there's like one, two, three, there's three, four that are a little bit more just metallics. But I mean, it's just a really, really good one. And I've just really enjoyed it. It's so, 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 so pretty. So this is really a winner for me. It's really awesome. Ooh, it's really awesome. <laughs> Hey guys, future me here. Just wanted to step in and say I forgot about the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. Absolutely love it. It is a must for fall. It is so, so pretty. Love this palette. I just can't believe I forgot to put that in, but I just thought I'd step in and just throw this in really, really quickly just to give you guys a heads up got four more things and then I will be done and you know because I'm trying to catch up I didn't get to do one in September because like I said I just was so busy I didn't get a chance to do it and but there were some things I was trying out and I just kind of wanted to play with them and just see but um but yeah this um this has been one of my favorite things to be using is my Vanity Planet the um, it's a facial steamer and I love it because the little nozzle goes up and down like this and then you have your little water thing in the back of it and you just stuff it down in it what I've been doing and I'm going to tell you guys if you guys have a husband or a boyfriend or you know even a brother or anybody that has a lot of trouble with shaving because I do I know I do I put this I fill it up and then um, I turn it on and while I'm shaving I let the steam come up and it like steams my face as I'm shaving and it just does such a great job because it really keeps the hair really like lubricated so when you shave with the shaving cream you don't cut yourself and that's how I've been using it I've been using it every single day day I use it I plug it up I keep it but right beside my basin I, I just fill it up with water I just and I let it I because you have to push this little button here to turn it on it'll kind of flash off and on until you get ready to use it and then you hit the button and then it'll just it'll start with the steam and I have it going while I'm like I'm I'm in the shower I just have it like sitting there warming up and then when I get out I just press the button and it's ready to go and I just let the steam come on my face um it sounds a little high maintenance I'm telling you if you guys wash your face in the sink and you don't have time to like really sit and just put your face in the steamer this is a great way to do it and it's also great to put your skincare on while you're steaming too just to kind of put everything in while your skin is nice and warm it just does such a great job and it really has made a big difference in my skin i've noticed it and now i'm kind of addicted to it so now i've been using it a lot i think i got this one at uh, bed bath and beyond and i got it with a coupon and i think with the coupon you, you save like 20 percent or something at bed bath and beyond and you, they're like 49 dollars or something or 40 and you can get it a lot cheaper than getting it online. If you get it from Vanity Planet, it takes a long time to get to you. I bought one or two of but there are other things and it takes forever. I would just go to Bed Bath & Beyond and pick up one up. It's just like it's just so much easier to get it there or get it from their site. Um, but it is just a great product. I've really, really enjoyed it a lot. It's been really awesome. It's been worth the money. I've definitely used it more than I even paid for it. So it's been worth it. Trust me. It's really, really awesome. You guys would love it. Um, it's definitely one of those things if you have had time to steam or you want to start steaming, it's a great product to try. It's like, you know, last, actually three products. So I've got two lipsticks here and I have my Lisa Eldridge highlighter. So this is the Elevated Glow in Solar Light. You guys, I have this on again. I've used it as a base. I love it. It's just so beautiful. It just looks so good up underneath anything you put on. If you just want to put this on by itself, it's really beautiful. It's a little bit similar to the Hollywood Flawless Filter, but it's a little bit more dewier than Flawless Filter. Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit more, it's got a 
radiant, but it's not, it's more of a mica kind of radiant where this one is more of a, it's more of a dewy texture. I can't really explain it. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's just so, so, so beautiful. And she, at least has this on her site, but see, it's just juicy. It's just the juicy, 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 juicy product. It just makes your skin look juicier, but better. It's just like awesome. Like you just want to eat it. It's just so juicy. It's so pretty on the skin and it melts into the skin. Whereas Auric is a little bit more on the thicker side. And then the Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit more on the, I can't realize that I'm going to say metallic because it's not really metallic, but it's just a little bit more different. I love both of those products. They're both amazing, but this product is just blows it out of the water. It's just such a good product, especially if you have dry skin, you would love this product. It's really, really super awesome. So I definitely would check it out on the Lisa Eldridge site. And then while you're there, why don't you just check out the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks because she just did a launch and um, I think Velvet Cinnabar is out, but I had to pick up a lipstick, guys. This lipstick is just everything. This shade, I was going to put it on, but I just had it on the other day, and I was wanting to put on this other L'Oreal shade that I wanted to try, but this is just so, so, so pretty. It's just a beautiful, beautiful lipstick. It feels wonderful. It's creamy. It's it's like a rich, beautiful, velvety brown um, orangey. This is just like absolutely perfect for fall. She has many, many different shades, of course, but this one is just special to me. I just want, I just wanted to mention because it's the special shade. And then another special shade that I have is by Christian Obdet, and that is the Hocus Pocus. So I wanted to do a, side, a little side by side to you guys. So this one is a little bit more of the orangey red side, and this one is a little bit more of that deeper brown autumn shade in the Cinnabar. So they're both really beautiful. They're just the texture and stuff are just different. Um, they both have a little bit of a matte, creamy texture. They do remind me a lot of each other. I did have somebody, one of my... Um one of my uh, followers on Instagram was well, actually, she was asking me, she said, so what's the difference between the Audet and what's the difference between, and also a subscriber too. I had, I had both. What's the difference between the two and why? They're just, they're both beautiful lipsticks. They're both creamy. They're both matte though. They both stay on really well. Um, they both, they, either one of them, just one is a little, this one is just, um, a little bit more um, richer. Like this one's just a little bit more on the, I don't know how to say it. It's a little bit more um, intense on the lips. Like it's got a little bit more, if you can feel it a little bit more on the lips where the Lisa is a little bit more lighter. Um, they're just both beautiful lipstick. Like, I mean, they both wear well. They both stay on good. The pigment is insane in the Christian Obdet. Their lip liners are my favorite so far. I didn't get any of the Lisa liners, but everybody said it was really great. But they're very, in comparison to each other, they're very similar in ways. So, I mean, I would have to say they're similar. So, I mean, these are two probably of my favorite favorite lipsticks of the year so far. I thought, you know, I would really get into the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, and I like them. They're great. Um, you know, the formulas are pretty, but I mean, these lipsticks have just stole my heart because I got Lisa's. I got some of hers in spring and her gloss, and I mean, you know, I just so many other brands and stuff. I've just fallen in love with the lipsticks, but these two are just, they're, you know, they're right up there on my top list of the year for lipsticks. They're just great. They're both great formulas, so definitely when I do a list later on, just know. I'm probably going to probably talk about these, so, you know, but anyway, I really, really love okay, these. Okay, guys, with that said, we are finished. What do you think of my favorites? Do you have any of these in here that were your favorites? You know, let us know down below in the comments down below. Let me know what your favorites were for the month. What have you really been enjoying? What have you been using a lot? I love hearing you guys' feedback. I love hearing what you've been using, what you're doing, what you're enjoying at the moment. You know, what is, you know, what is hot for you? I mean, maybe it's an older lipstick. Maybe Maybe it's something that you pull back out again that you weren't using, you know, that you haven't used for a while. You know, um, let us know down in the comments like what you do because we love, you know, extra feedback. Maybe it's a L'Oreal lipstick, you know, which I have on right now, which is really cool. This is the shade Bad Espresso, and I really like it. It's a really pretty cool brown color. It's really nice. It feels really good to early. I'm enjoying using it. It feels really nice. And they these mattes of L'Oreal, they feel really great. So these are great too if you want don't want to break the bank and you don't want to do because the Lisa Eldridge, they're you know, they're like thirty-five, thirty-ish dollar, thirty-six dollars. And the Christian Ardette, they're a little bit up there too. They're a little bit around the um 
think they're around the $30 range. I mean, they're up there, but they're they're definitely more luxury lipsticks. But if you want something that's just good, the L'Oreal ones are great. L'Oreal is my favorite brand, them and Maybelline for lipsticks in the drugstore. These are great and they're just really awesome. And they just, they wear, they're really nice to wear. They're, I mean, if you, especially if you just don't have the money to spend on it, but you want a really good ball, a couple of good, Christmas, you know, holiday lipsticks or fall lipsticks, you can just go and pick you up some at the drugstore, maybe get some on sale and save you some money. You Most of the time you can pick these up at Walmart and they're like, you know, sometimes five, six, seven, eight dollars. Um, so sometimes they're just even, you know, they're, they're really, really good buys to buy. Um, but, you know, but anyway, you guys, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I just can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys are going to have a really nice and safe Halloween and a really nice and safe um, weekend. And, you know, and just remember, you know, be safe. Please, please, please be safe. Um, you know, be um, strong. You know, uh, be proud. Stand tall. Love yourself. And remember to love someone else. Um, you know, and and tell someone else that you love them today, too. And, you know, show a little kindness. A little kindness goes an awful long way. And, you know, with that said, have a very happy Halloween.